Have you ever wondered with all the technology that is available, why we can't produce incredibly reliable engines? Could it be that engine manufacturers really don't know what they're doing? Or are they purposely making unreliable engines to make money from parts and repairs? Everyone knows it's not profitable to make something that lasts forever. Despite this, there are some engine manufacturers that made incredibly good engines. So good, they had to stop. Check out these most reliable engines of all time. Number 1. RB26 DET Nissan Skyline GTR Many say that the RB26 DET engine is one of the best import engines ever made, and is a 2.6 liter straight 6 4 stroke gasoline engine made by Nissan. Some import tuners claim that the engine is so strong that it can easily handle a single or twin turbos and be boosted up to 1,000 to 1,200 horsepower. Not only is the engine reliable and strong, it's a cheap engine too, and was produced from 1985 to 2004, so parts are plentiful. The engine is most famously known for being in the R34 Nissan Skyline GTR, and is quite popular for its strength and power potential and its modification-friendly platform for tuners. And by the way, Nissan has said that it has plans to start producing the engine again in 2019, getting a lot of car tuners really excited. Off the showroom floor, the engine had 276 horsepower, which is not bad for a stock 2.6 liter engine, and with a few aftermarket parts bolted on, 500 horsepower is easily achievable. A unique feature about this engine is that it has six individual throttle bodies instead of one. Number 2. 2 ARFE Toyota Camry this engine was released in 2008 and was built to replace the 2.4 liter 2AZ engine and consumes less fuel but has the same power output. But the engine which is usually found standard in Toyota Camry is quite reliable. With regular oil changes and maintenance, these engines can easily see 150 to 200,000 miles. But even when people didn't change the oil, some engines still saw this mileage. That's because the engine was developed by applying low friction technologies, including roller rockers, reduced tension piston rings, and the oil pump is variable and has three stages of operation. In fact, the only thing limiting the longevity of the engine is the cylinder block, which cannot be rebuilt or have cylinder liners replaced. Had these engines not had a disposable engine block, there would be even more high mileage engines running about. Number 3. Honda K20 the Honda K-Series engines is a line of four-cylinder, four-stroke car engines, which were introduced in 2001. The engines are equipped with low-friction parts, including roller rockers on the dual overhead cam engines. When it comes to spark, there is no distributor. Instead, each cylinder has its own ignition coil, which sits on top of the spark plug. The engine was produced until 2011 and could be found in the Honda Civic Type R and the Honda Integra Type R. But those aren't the only models this reliable engine can be found in, as it also powers the Acura RSX Type S, all S-Type Honda Civics, and some Honda Accords. Of course, there are other variations of the engine, with different parts giving it more power for other applications. Chances are, if you're looking at a Honda, it has this trusty and reliable engine under the hood. Number 4. Mercedes 300D Turbo Diesel The Mercedes 300D diesel engine is one of the most reliable diesel engines in the world. Many of these engines are running around with 100, 200, and even 350,000 miles and are still purring like kittens. There are even videos of this engine running perfectly with over 200,000 miles and having just a few minor maintenance things done like replacing the filters, rebuilding the injectors, and replacing all filters. Sure, none of the 300D cars with this engine in it would win a race as they were notoriously slow and loud. Turns out, this car can do some burnouts with that diesel engine, and you'll hear many people saying that the 300D was one of the best cars ever made. Number 5. 3S FE The Toyota S-Series engines are a family of straight four-cylinder engines with displacement from 1.8 to 2.2 liters and is one of the longest-running production engines in the world, being manufactured by Toyota Motor Corporations from January 1980 to August 2007, with the 3S FE being produced from 1986 to 2000. It had cast iron engine block and alloy cylinder heads, and is so reliable that it can be found in many popular cars like the Camry, and was found in cars like the Toyota Celica, Corona, Carina, and even Supra and Supra GT. The twin cam 16 valve engine has a huge spare parts availability, and many who own a car with this engine say it's very good and reliable, and it gives respectable performance with average fuel consumption. Number 6. BMW M57 this engine was an inline six-cylinder turbo diesel that was introduced in 1998 with a couple of different versions that followed shortly after. 
It was a very reliable engine with a cast iron crankcase that weighed a mere 462 pounds. But the interesting thing about this engine is the high compression ratio of 16.5 to 1 to 18.0 to 1, and they're usually matched with either a single Garrett or Borg Warner twin turbochargers with intercooler depending on the compression ratio. Many that know this engine say that the M57 is about as bulletproof as you can get when it comes to a six-cylinder diesel engine. Production on this engine stopped in 2013, but not before it found its way into more than 30 various models of BMW. This powerful and dynamic BMW engine has won the Engine of the Year award in the 2.5 to 3.0 liter engine category from 1999 to 2000. Number 7. M102 E23 – or Most Reliable Mercedes Engines The M102 engine came out to replace the old BMW M115 engine in 1980. This four-cylinder engine was built entirely from scratch. It had new cast iron cylinder block, aluminum eight-valve cylinder head with one camshaft. In the beginning, the M102 had a bad timing chain, which was a single row chain and apparently not strong enough. It was replaced by a double row chain, which eliminated the problem. Throughout the years, Mercedes continued to improve the engine with new light connecting rods and crankshaft, along with hydraulic lifters and improved oil filter. The engine had a good run, but in 1994, all production on the engine stopped to make way for the 2.0 liter M111 engine. Will it be as reliable? Only time will tell. Number 8. Most Reliable Mazda Engine For those who aren't familiar with the rotary engine, it uses triangle-shaped rotors that spin instead of convention pistons for combustion. It would seem that an engine like this would be less reliable. However, it has less moving parts than a conventional engine, and that should mean that it's more reliable. The Mazda rotary engine is a rather small engine, but it is very powerful for its size, although it has poor fuel efficiency. The 13B REW version became popular due to its low weight and high output. It was initially used in Mazda RX-7s and was still produced until 1995 in the US and 2002 in Japan. It was also the world's first volume-produced sequential turbocharged motor. It's hard to believe that this engine ends up being on a list for reliability, but in truth it was a good engine, and tuners had a really good time with this one being able to crank out big horsepower numbers with an engine that is only 1.3 liters big. Number 9. Nissan VR38 Debt Nissan's incredible VR engine is a 3.8-liter twin-turbo dual-overhead cam V6 engine that has a variable valve timing and a feedback control system which allows for air-to-fuel ratio to change according to engine load. The engine can be found in a couple of different vehicles and with different engine versions of 480, 550, and 600 horsepower. However, if you're looking for this reliable engine, you'll find it in the Nissan GTR and the limited edition Juke R. This engine is assembled manually by specially qualified staff at the Yokohama plant. The engines are known for going 100,000 to 120,000 miles, or even more before having any types of engine problems. However, a Nissan GTR with really high mileage probably doesn't exist, and so it's hard to really know the lifespan limit of this engine. Number 10. 2JZ 2JZ GTE the Toyota JZ family is a series of inline six cylinder engines that was a replacement for the M series inline six cylinder engines, and the JZ had 24 valves for its dual overhead camshaft configuration. It is an air intercooled, twin turbocharged engine capable of producing 321 horsepower at 5,600 RPM. In case you think it sounds familiar, it's the engine that you'll find in Toyota's Supra, but the reliable engine is also fond of many other models in Europe. It was built in response to Nissan's reliable and highly successful RB26 DET engine, which at the time had achieved some touring car championships. The 2JZ GTE originally powered the Toyota Aristo 5 in 1991, before becoming Toyota's flagship performance engine in the Toyota Supra. Hearing about all these reliable engines makes you wonder what vehicle is running around out there with the most miles on it. We found a couple, so let's shift gears and check them out. Number 3. Joseph Valencourt 1963 Plymouth Fury There's a car in the USA that apparently holds the title of the highest mileage car in North America. Joseph Valencourt owns a 1963 Plymouth Fury that he has driven as a cab since the mid-1960s. During this time, the car went through five 225 slant six engines, and the torque flight transmission had only been opened once during this time. Joe changed the oil on Fury every week and washed the car every day. However, Joe was in an accident in the Fury when a truck crashed into the front of it, totaling the vehicle. Good thing Joe was unhurt, but the Fury wasn't so lucky. 
Actor Michael Barrett heard about the car in the accident and spent $20,000 to restore the car. Now the car, which has had over 800,000 people ride in it, can be seen on display in a car museum. Number 2. Gregorius Sakonidis, 1976 Mercedes 240D We know what you're thinking. Of course a car used for a taxi is going to have a lot of miles on it. But what better way to test the reliability of a car? Gregorius Sakonidis owns this 1976 Mercedes 240D, and get this, the car has 2,850,000 miles on it. We should note that the car was also used for personal use as well as a taxi. Gregarius and his car hit the milestone in 2004, and Mercedes-Benz verified the accuracy of his claim and gave him a new C-Class. But in order to take the new car, he had to give up his old trusty 240D. The 240D is now on display inside a Mercedes-Benz personal museum as the longest-running vehicle in the brand's history. Number 1. Irving Gordon, 1966 Volvo 1800S So now that you've heard about a couple of cars with some insane mileage, you might be wondering what car and owner holds the record for having the most miles. That would be Irving Gordon with his 1966 Volvo 1800S, which currently holds the Guinness World Record for the highest vehicle mileage on a personal car with over 3 million miles. Irving estimates that he drives the car about 100,000 miles per year, where he visits car shows. One of his longest road trips was from New York to Canada. Popular mechanics interviewed Irving after he set the world record. He talked about the maintenance of his vehicle, saying he changes the oil every 3,000 to 3,500 miles, and changes the transmission fluid every 25,000 miles. One of the craziest things is that the original clutch in the car lasted 450,000 miles. For the record, a clutch disc has an average lifespan of 50,000 miles, with some people getting 100,000 miles. Could this be Volvo's near indestructible car? Either way, we're sure that Volvo would like to get their hands on this car just to see. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know which of these you thought was the most interesting. And if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video arrives. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.